Hi, Sally at Buggy Baby. I am going to have a look at the Joy Brisk LX pushchair in pavement. Um, this retails at £150 and it's for babies from birth until they're 22 kilos. So I have scissors in my pocket. Let's open the box and have a look at what you get. So everything's neatly packed inside, lots of um, cardboard to stop things um, getting damaged, which is a good sign. So I'm going to bring this out. Um, it shows you some accessories not included. So one of those things is a rain cover. I haven't got a rain cover as far as I can see. Okay. Um, so it does also say I don't get a foot muff, but I've got what looks like a, a boot cover. So maybe that's not a foot muff. Um, let's have a look at what it says about putting it together and get cracking. So I found the instructions. Um, they're right inside the front cover, of course. And, you know, really good, clear instructions uh, using pictures, which is great because I personally quite like a... A picture to guide me um, first of all got to put the wheels on it shows me how to do that then open out the um, chassis put the rear wheels on yeah I think I can follow that okay so first of all then here's the chassis I'm going to turn it round so I've got this locking clip here so I'm going to undo that and then give that a, there we are so that clicks into place okay I'm going to turn this down like this so that I can get the wheels on so I'm going to click the front wheels in place literally put that in there that was really easy. And that one. The swivel lock with these front wheels operates by pushing up these um, little caps like that. And then the wheels are solidly locked. So that's good to see. I'll open them up again. Now the instructions show me that the back wheels fit on with the brake on the right hand side as you're pushing so that just slots in there and that one slots in whoops a daisy wrong way around there okay so that's easily done and then this is the brake and if I show you that I've done it with my hand that's locked everything in and then easy to release. Now this is one of those, um, you know, shoe saver brakes that you can use without scuffing your shoes and it's really uh, light and easy to use. So that's really great. So I'm gonna turn it up the right way. Um, I had to press down on this part here. This had to be pressed down in order to make the pushchair rigid. So there we go. Let's have a look at the front. Ooh, I've got a foot rest which I am assuming ah now look at that that was quite intuitive press each side here and the foot rest or the calf rest is maneuverable I don't know if you'd want it up like that but if you did you could like that and then down there so that's good nice fabric quite nicely padded no padding on the sides but the actual seat units nice and padded I've got um, padded covers over the straps and a five point harness. If I press that, that's great. That comes out, so that's good. So let's have a look at the canopy and put that on. Right, so I've got the canopy, which is very lightweight. And I think I just literally slot it into those two grooves there. One, two. Okay, that was good. And then if I pull it forwards, you can see 
there we are ah oh, now i've got to <laughs> i just got to bring it down to the back it's got some velcro at the bottom which i'm not sure where that goes oh it goes here look underneath the seat i hope you can see that one two three and then the velcro on the sides fits on as well so that's you know very straightforward fits on like that i've just accidentally pulled it off but okay oh and i've got a little um a viewing window here with just a small flap and i've got an extendable canopy there we are compress it down there with these two side bars if i want to I can zip this up and make the canopy a bit less expansive. This fabric is UPV 50 plus, so you get good protection from the sun and it says that here on this label. So there's your canopy. If you want, you can pull that up like that. There we are. That looks nice and smart, doesn't it? It's quite good having these bars. That straightens that out. And so there's, there's your canopy. And if you want to, if I show you again, I can... I'm going to the other end of the zip. Go to the other end of the zip. Unzip it. And I'll just do that carefully. There we are. Now, I hope if you can see, that's quite nice, isn't it? That's quite a good size. And once that was secured properly on there with the Velcro, look, that's a, that's a good covering for, for your baby once they're in there. So this is for babies from birth to 22 kilos. And um, as you can see, that's, that's good. And then to bring the canopy up, there we are, we do that. Brilliant. So now I'm going to put the bumper bar on. Put the bumper bar on. I literally slot it in the sides here. One, two. And this bumper bar does have a zip. So you can take this cover off, which is great. Because sometimes, you know, these bumper bars bear the brunt of the, uh, the sticky and the wet and um so it's nice to be able to take that off and give that a rinse okay and so the next thing is the canopy the the foot muff that came with this here's the foot muff it's really smart i have to say it looks really really tidy and smart um let's have a look at how it goes on so it's got a zipped part if i undo that zip that actually comes off completely and voila we have a seat liner but well, i've got it upside down so the seat liner pops on here and you've got some holes to put the um handlebars through i say handlebars i don't mean handlebars i mean these straps so if i undo that and pull literally just look just pull that out then i can poke this through here but i think i'm gonna have to take these off as well so i'll take one off i'm going to do this just to show you um you know if you if you bought this and you just received it then this is how long it would take you to set it up if you wanted to so i can, I can pull that through i can't I've taken the, the covers off of the strap and now I'm going to just thread the strap into the liner here. And I had it round the wrong way before because I didn't have the logo facing outwards. So I've moved the logo to the right way round. There we are. Whoops, pull that through. There's um, a piece of Velcro here which attaches over the back there somewhere ah where does it attach to <laughs> maybe it's under oh maybe it attaches up there somewhere okay 
put that there. And then I'm going to just check where that does attach to because otherwise it's not going to stay in place. I think it attaches up here. I think that's right, but then that may interfere with where this attaches, so I'll look at that later. Okay, so I've put that up there. And then I need to thread this strap through the bottom here. So that, there we are, pull that through. Good. And then I've got side parts as well to put the other piece of the buckle through. Hang on, get that done. One, two, okay. Okay, so to fold this Joy Brisk LX, um, I'm going to show you first of all, you have to fold back the canopy like that. And then just here, you've got a really clever button that you have to, if I come down, you can see it. You press that down and pull that up. So if I do that, it, it makes this umbrella fold work down here. And then I push it forwards and if I go to the side, whichever side it was that had, oh, there, there it is. If I go to the side and press that in, then it stays locked and there's a carry handle. There we are. So that's really good. This Brisk LX weighs just over eight kilos and that's, that's really very easily manageable to carry around like this. If I want to unfold it, I haven't looked at the instructions. I assume I'm just literally going to undo this um, lock. So yeah, undone the lock and then I'm going to pull it up and I'm going to press my foot there so that the umbrella fold has gone nice and sturdy again and there we are so that was really easy to do literally press this button push it forward to lock and then um, pick it up using the carry handle so that looks very straightforward what does it feel like to handle yeah that's that's feels very light actually uh, um, nice and easy to maneuver um, the handles are two separate handles, it's not one handle bar, but that's quite a nice position because they kind of point upwards like and your hands feel good, um, comfortable on there like that, quite sturdily. So I like that. Um, and the seat recline, let's have a look at that, I haven't mentioned that. There's a, a clip back here which I'm squeezing together and the seat then reclines um, a long way down. And if I wanted to, if I just um, show you, it might be easier if I show you by folding that up. You've got um, a really good lying position for your baby from birth. So if I, there we are. So I've unzipped the boot cover just to show you how nice and flat that um, seat unit goes. So if I had a newborn, I would feel very um, confident that that is a really good lying surface for them because it's, you know, they call it um, lie flat. It's not completely flat, but, you know, that's, um, that's very cosy for um, a newborn baby. And you can use the straps to adjust to um, the size of your baby as they grow. And then by um, bringing it up, one, two, three, four, four different positions of the chair, literally by 
pulling it forward and then pulling together on this clip at the back to recline again. So I like that. And um, and that, that works well. And you don't need a, you don't have the option for attaching a carry cot here. So that would be your newborn option to have the seat down. So the Joy Brisk LX then uh, retails at £150. It's for children from birth to 22 kilos. Um, the canopy does have this extendable part that you can press back up there if you want to. And it is compatible with all Joy car seats. So you can attach a car seat to the chassis and you don't need any extra adapters. So that's good. If I come back here, we can have a look and see what we think. I think that looks really robust, really good and very good value um, when it retails at £150. Suspension here on the front wheels, which is good because that helps to ensure a good smooth ride. We've got solid tires on both sides, which is good. And we've got the double wheels at the back with the um, incorporated brake. Nice um, use of the basket there. And available from buggybaby.co.uk. There we are. That is the Joy Brisk LX pushchair.